Yo guys, I'm really excited for this one. This was a plan that I had a very long time ago and I only made it this now true. So we got a package and it's gonna be for the Core P3. And um, it's a mess here because I've just been soldering lights behind the core. As you can see, it has like a hue around it. It's for when it's on the wall, but this is gonna be amazing. So what we have here is a case a 3D printed one that I'm gonna wrap in carbon that will be mounted on the power supply and here's what goes inside it. A 7 inch touchscreen LCD with a resolution of 20, um, 1024 by 600 and what it's gonna be doing is replace these ones. So I have these um, indicators and I will remove that one and then on the bottom of the power supply where my GBL is like down there, there will be a display that will be mounted on the wall later of course. And I can't zoom out. And on that LCD I will showcase like my temperatures, clock usage, speeds, everything that I could. And I will monitor it permanently. So I just got this in and yeah, let's open it up. So it comes with a CD because it's actually for the Raspberry Pi. It has an HDMI cable which is nice. And um, the USB cable is for the touchscreen, so that one has to be connected. I will mount that internally as soon as I get my extension cord that I bought. There's one issue though. My USB ports are full. My 970 only has one HDMI and one um, display port, and those are both used for my television setups. So what I've done is ordered this. So this is a DVI port to HDMI port. And I'm going to be using that to use the DVI port on the back side of my graphics card to give the screen to the display. So, that's the next thing that we need. And now for the good piece. The LCD. It's 7 inch. It's really big. I like it, but it looks really good in quality. Like you can see, that's a really nice screen. I can't vouch yet for the quality it will output, but from what I've heard, it's really good. So, it's time to take apart the core and start building. I'm actually gonna unpack this first and wrap that to carbon so it will match with my computer team. So I quickly just assembled the display that's supposed to be. So this is when you buy it and you would use it as an LCD. That's like how it works. It has like um, two ports for the touchscreen. You only need one, an HDMI port and a switch for the backlight or something. And for the rest, that's just the display. It's about this thick. And this big. So that's the display. I'm just gonna test it out and then um, later I'm gonna try to find a way to mount it to the computer. So let's hook it up. So I hooked the DVI up and I'm taking power from the computer. The power comes from the USB, it's same as the touchscreen and the HDMI for the image. And I have a test video on it from YouTube. It's a 4K 60 FPS video. My computer is loading something, hence why it's lagging. But if it runs, it runs really smooth. I'm sure this display shows like 60 FPS because I'm running it at 10, uh, 4K 60 FPS and it really goes smooth. So I can't see the 4K of course because the screen doesn't show that. But one thing that's really bad is like the when you go from the side, it's actually the black is really blue. So if I disable the screen, like if it has a black background, it's really blue from the side. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick a blue background. I may make some like moving one like I have here. This one is animated and stuff. But um, yeah, for the rest, the colors are really good, good enough. They just need to display what I wanted to display. But I'm gonna start designing like the layout for it and start working on that. God, this has taken me absolutely hours. It's now 1 a.m. and I started at like 8 a.m. So this is IDA64. You will be probably aware of this program. It's a bear stress test. But what I didn't know either, but what I found out is it has something called a sensor panel. And with the sensor panel, you can create like a screen like that where you can put indicators and stuff. So this doesn't look like much, but you can make this really advanced and I just did that. So I made this in hours over hours and I will provide this one for you to download so you can just get that. But look at this. It took me absolutely hours, but I created this and it's interactive like it's it has all the live stats. So we have 
some of it at first seems to make no sense, but it, it's, it's good. So we have CPU usage, core temperatures, these are all my four cores, RAM usage, virtual RAM usage, like page file. Then we have the cores and their usages, and from a certain point, they will change their colors. CPU temperatures and far fan RPM speaks for themselves. We have another usage of CPU and RAM with more history, so you can see when it goes up and down. Then we have a middle section. It's the motherboard temperature, the power draw of the CPU, download and upload speed, and those I kept to my uh, like 25 down and 20, no, free upload MB, so I kept those to that. You can change that all. SD usage is it is the usage of my SSD. Volume speaks for itself. Then we have the graphics card. GPU usage, it's uh, how much um, it's used. That's the temperature. That's the GPU clock speed. That's the power draw, which goes up to 110% because mine can do that. The voltage, um, capped to my top voltage. So these are all things that you have to set. This is um, VRAM usage, and that one goes to four gigabytes. Frame rate. Now this one is awesome because if I have a Rivertuner installed, Rivertuner will always output on here the frame rate of the topmost program. So if I run a game, it will always show it on this bar. GPU usage, VRAMs, fan speed, GPU temperature, and GPU RPM. Then again, VRAM history and GPU usage history. And the cool thing is, like, I can just move this now and I can put it on the external screen like this one. So where it's supposed to be. So it's on the screen now looking really good. And what you then can do is go to the IDA settings. And I'm sorry that I filmed this with my phone at the moment, but you can go to the IDA settings and then you make topmost lock panel position. And this is really awesome because now, oh, you can also disable the context menu so you won't be able to edit it. So now, when you see, when I go with my mouse on here and I can click, it won't edit it anymore. I can pull it off, but this is the dopest part. So if I pull out the HDMI and my screens go back to two screens, it still won't change. So the screen there has um, nothing at the moment. And once I plug the cable back in, it'll straight away like go back into that mode. So nothing jumps to this screen or anything. It will always be dedicated to the third screen. And that's because the position is locked. So even if I only have two screens, it won't move around. So this is really awesome. So this will always be a dedicated um, tool for my usages. So now I gotta wrap it and find a way to mount it to my PSU down there, which could be hard, but we'll get it done. Alrighty, another wrap job done. So I'm gonna replace these screws in the future. I don't like the silver ones, they're gonna be black. But this looks pretty neat. It's uh, wrapped pretty nicely. I could wrap over the screen, but I won't do that. That's not really needed. I also didn't wrap the back side. I did wrap the sides of that. So now I need to find a way to um, like mount it there. And I'm still not sure how I'm gonna do that, but looking good, very nice. Oh, this is really lucky, like my pump came with an anti-vibration rubber like this and that has double-sided tape on it and with that in place it exactly matches up with the line there so I could just tape it up here with double-sided tape mount that with this which is also like glued and have to find some way to like tie it up here so it won't like fall off ever I could probably do that so I'm just going to temporarily mount it and see how that looks. So this is obviously just a test setup, but look at that. There's the LCD with all the information on it. And when that will be hanging on the wall, it will be higher. So that will be really nice. So um, let me stand up. There's the core with the LCD. With all the information I could need. Or don't even need this thing is so full but um, yeah this is really dope I actually didn't notice at first but because of the screw holes that there was an air gap I noticed that there's foil on there and it's like really nice looking piano black under it so that's pretty dope so actually if you use it as a case it looks good too and I put two of these dampeners down there that holds together and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the back side here and wrap around here down and wrap over the screen 
like this thing that I already wrapped, I will wrap over it so it comes out on the back side of that and that will hold it up there so it will be held up and screwed onto this plate which is glued with two of these uh, thingies there so that should hold it very tight. Jesus Christ this came out so good look the line is like that looks very nice like it's one piece with the screen there and then it goes over there and on the back side I will put the LED strip on it that will also put some pressure on it um, yeah so to do further wall enhancing I have some meshes in the back side between the radiator and the fans I have that between all of them and I also have that on the bottom under the power supply so it filters the dust that goes in there but um, yeah alright so on this power supply cable that was unused I actually took the two pins from 5 volts out soldered onto it so this pin is still usable it's just taking 5 volts from there as well that way when the power supply will get powered on the screen will get powered on so that works out fine by now I've received the corner piece for the HDMI that I plugged in so it doesn't stick out that much I still have to like work on the USB cable and solder that differently but at the moment this is how it looks and as you can see all the usage is on it it's really sweet again I will provide that into the description where you can download the preset for IDA you can see the side and basically this is how it looks now you've seen it if you watched the previous video where I wall mounted my computer but uh, that's basically it I'm gonna replace the power input for it and that's about it the rest is gonna stick like this and yeah very useful so as you can see it looks really good from the side indeed it does go blue which is unfortunate but if I sit at the computer where I'm sitting you can't really notice that so basically I do not regret having this display even though it's blue so that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video where I'll be upgrading this little fella here. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye.